Good day to everybody. It's January 22nd, 2021, or 2022, I'm sorry. This is just the aftermath from the pretty much unexpected weather event that we had. It wasn't totally unexpected, but it was, it, it was pretty unexpected. <laughs> so we're gonna drive through Moonridge a little bit here. We're gonna kind of take a shortcut right here through the neighborhood. It's 33 degrees right now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, obviously. So yeah, we're just gonna take a little drive to see what town looks like for you guys. Yesterday it was showing that it was supposed to get not really warm today, but in the upper 30s and we haven't hit that at all today. We stayed pretty much right around freezing. So a lot of this new stuff that fell from the sky yesterday is not melting too much. However, in the direct sunlight, it will, even if it's below freezing. But anyway, yeah, so we're gonna check this out. We're gonna drive up by Bear Mountain real quick and come back around and drive down towards a, whatchamacallit, Snow Summit and just see what's going on over there. Just so you guys can get a sense of what town looks like right now, what the roads look like. Last night, you guys, it, it was, man, it was slippery out there. I mean, there was hardly any snow and ice on the roads, but it was really hard to drive. It wasn't, it was not easy. I guess that's what being hard to drive would be. <laughs> not easy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. Wow, what is everyone part? This must be for, for Bear Mountain, you guys. Holy moly, look at all these cars. I'm interested to see what it's looking like at Bear Mountain. There's a ton of people. I haven't seen that parking lot full like that in a long time, so I'm wondering what's going on, why, they, why they're using that parking area. As I said, we don't see that parking area filled up often. The other satellite parking lots will get really full, but uh, yeah, I've, I just haven't seen that one full in ages. In ages. Hope you guys are doing great today. This is pretty cool because once again, this was unexpected. Um, what you're seeing over here with with the snow, it's not like it's much of a difference um, from what we saw before the snow because a lot of this was already here. So it just got a nice little white coat on top. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're coming up to Bear right now, you guys. And for you guys who want to go sledding and not have to pay, there's there's a good spot if you stay on this road, instead of turning left where we're gonna turn left, if you stay on this road, up here to the right, and go up to the top, it's a good little sledding spot. It is my goodness. That's Bear Mountain, guys. Holy freaking packed. Just amazing. All these people having a great time. That's awesome. And then the parking lot on the golf course is fully packed as well. Jeez Louise, man. I can't imagine what these lines are just to get on the lift. But at least you guys are having a blast. I love seeing this. I love seeing all these people here. I really hope you guys are having a good time out there. Seriously, it is a sh show, a sh show. So many people.
just incredible, man. I think we'll take a... Oh, look at people building snowmen on the golf course. That's cool. Going sledding on the flat little course. That's okay. They're being creative, trying to find ways to sled and have some fun out here. So that's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so nice to see these people having so much fun out here. <laughs> and as usual, I want to thank you guys for such awesome comments. You guys are so damn sweet. I, and I didn't expect to be making, as I said, an aftermath. I didn't even expect to be making any like snow type wintry videos yesterday, but we got blessed. We got blessed. This is awesome. And it's nice for you guys to get to see what town looks like when it's light outside. So we're on Moonridge Road, guys. We're gonna take this to Big Bear Boulevard and then go into the main part of town. So you guys can get a sense of what it's like. That's gonna be a beautiful view right here. Watch this. At least I think that's gonna be a beautiful view for you guys. Get to see the resort. Man, what a gorgeous place, guys. The mountain has a toupee of clouds at the top, look at that. Just so pretty, guys. Right now, the roads for the most part are in pretty darn good condition. But as I said last night, it, it kind of caught me off guard how slippery the roads were. bunch of people I think yeah those are all for the zoo you guys so the zoo's open that's awesome that is so awesome people are going to the zoo right now very cool been planning to do a lot of work on this road you guys like in the middle here they're supposed to build some sort of an island full of trees and plants and just cool stuff to make it even nicer I'm looking forward to that but I've seen these plans for years since I've lived here and just nothing ever never never comes about that's another one of the satellite parking lots for Bear Mountain Jeez, it's so packed you guys unreal unreal bro unreal so we're gonna go through uh, kind of the back streets to get to the Snow Summit area. And then as I said, we'll, we'll head through the village real quick and then we'll be done. So this is Evergreen. They have some incredibly beautiful houses on this street. I love it a lot. I mean, incredible houses. And I live right across the street on this side through, through these woods right here. It's a really beautiful area. It's amazing how I have a little shack and right across the street are these humongous mansions. Yeah, the temperature went up a little bit, guys. It went up to 37 degrees. That's interesting, it went up that fast. So what we're going to do is when we get up here to, I uh, can't remember the name of the street, we're going to turn left and then hit Switzerland. And one of you guys are having a family type of, a family retreat going on right now on Switzerland with your house facing Snow Summit. So that's really, really cool. I'm happy for you guys. What a great place to be. Great location up here, guys. So yeah, so we're going to turn left here on Crestwood. That's what the street is, Crestwood. And you can see 
one of the ski runs at Snow Summit straight ahead. That's pretty cool looking. I hope you guys can get a good sense of it. But yeah, for those of you, because a lot of you were planning on coming up really soon here, so I just want you guys to be able to see with your own eyes what is going on up here. What the roads look like. What the safety is like. This road, Switzerland, pretty much dead ends at the back of the parking lot at Snow Summit right here. Boom, look at that. Look, look how beautiful that, that looks. That's so beautiful. Look at that. I love this place. The clouds just hanging right on the top of the mountain right there. It's beautiful. I don't understand why people don't change out of their ski boots to go for these long walks. Ski boots are the most uncomfortable damn shoes ever. Share the road. Coming up here, not to Big Bear Boulevard, we're gonna turn left on Brownie Lane. You guys are pretty used to these little short cuts now, so hopefully you guys are really getting used to them so you can take advantage of them. A lot of people on Big Bear Boulevard right now. Wait till you see how little traffic there is on these back roads I just want you guys to have fun when you come up here and not have to be in traffic the whole time and be miserable because when we get this type of weather it gets extremely miserable up here because of the traffic and just so many people are irritated and trying to get places really really quickly so yeah we're gonna show you guys how to get where you need to go quickly As I said, I know you guys don't get to spend a lot of time up here when you come up. So if I can help you guys to avoid a lot of the traffic and just get from point A to point B. And basically we take a lot of the drives that you guys would be taking most of the time anyway from like a certain point to another point. Like from the village to the resorts or something like that. So I'm trying to be as considerate of you guys as I can. So right here where Brownie dead ends, it dead ends on a street called Wren, W-R-E-N. You wanna make a left here. And then turn right on, I believe it's called McWhitney. Man, I smell El Pollo Loco and it smells so good. I swear that's El Pollo Loco that I'm smelling from here. I've been having like a serious addiction lately to the BRC burritos. I get five at a time and then I just eat two at once and then I'm, I microwave the rest over the next day and a half and it saves a lot of money for food and, and it's something that I just keep on, keep on enjoying. I'm telling you, if we had In-N-Out up here though, I'd be eating In-N-Out every day like I used to down the hill almost. Oak Street guys, so. McWhitney dead ends on Oak Street and then we turn right on Oak and when this dead ends it dead ends on a street called Jeffries we want to make a left and then a right on Pennsylvania and that'll take you all the way into the village but look guys there's just no traffic back here when everyone is stopped in traffic on Big Bear Boulevard all right here's some not so good part of the road right here Ball field. I think that's one of the fields the high school plays at. I could be wrong though. Look at this guy. <laughs> All 
right, Pennsylvania, here we go. Um, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, it's called driving. All right. And you guys don't want to speed through these neighborhoods like a lot of these cars do. I know none of you guys would be the ones speeding through these neighborhoods. Just remember that there's a lot of kids around here, especially when we have weather like this. And the chances of them sledding in front of their houses and accidentally going into the street is very high. So you just we want to be extra, extra cautious. And we are almost to the village, y'all. What a gorgeous day. Look at how beautiful the sky looks today. Just spectacular. It's absolutely amazing. So we're not gonna be going through the whole village drive. We're gonna be taking one of the streets in the village to get to the other side. And then we might turn around because it's pretty much a crazy, crazy amount of traffic. You'll see once we get into the village here. Here we go. You know what? We're not gonna go through the part that I thought we were gonna go through. We're gonna go, we're gonna turn right at the next stop sign. That's what we're gonna do. I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta be aggressive up here. You really do. But then again, most of you are used to it from living down the hill. That's one thing that I don't miss about down there is just how aggressive all the driving is. Up here, we have patience a lot of times because we need to, but I'm one who lacks in patience. out here we're gonna make a right here after these people we were gonna go straight but as you can see the traffic is an absolute nightmare here all right and one of my favorite restaurants that only lasted for six months here or a year is closed already it's called crave red or <laughs> crave main lobster they had amazing lobster sandwiches <laughs> right here with the big red arrow pointing down right there it's unfortunate man what damn it's already changed it's not even the, the sign is gone already that's too bad but yeah you guys this place is just uh just crazy so many people and a lot of people just bitter too kind of sucks because you'd expect that when you come up to the snow you'll you, well at least for me that you'll be happier and but unfortunately a lot of people bring their anger from down there up here and it kind of sucks but I know that's not you guys all right so we just avoided all that traffic to the left and this is Big Bear Boulevard folks seriously come up here enjoy yourselves take a load off don't bring the stresses from down there up here because you guys deserve a break. Whenever I go down the mountain, I'm, I look forward so much to coming back up, like right away. on Big Red Boulevard are pretty damn good. You have nothing to really worry about. The only thing that you'll have any concern about or that you should be thinking about is in the evening time. When the temperatures become really cold again, back down to the freezing point and colder, a lot of this 
water that is melting into the street from, from the snow will freeze. It's very important that I always remind you guys about that because it's, it, it really becomes icy. So when you're driving during the day, just remember at nighttime, a lot of this moisture in the road will, will turn into ice, so just be careful. Wow, so much traffic. So we're gonna turn right here and go back down Brownie Lane to get back to Moonridge to avoid all the traffic. But you guys know how to get back and forth now from the village without having to take the main roads. It is kind of a little bit, uh, you gotta learn it a little bit, but once you've done it a couple times, it'll be in, ingrained in your memory and it'll be easy for you guys to remember. As I said, I want you guys to enjoy yourselves up here. I don't want you to be waiting in traffic or anything like that. Because as I've told you guys numerous times, less than 15% of people ever return to this area after they've come up here one time. And we learned that at the orientation when I was working at Bear Mountain. So for the hiring orientation part, right before the resort opens, they go through it and it takes like 30 minutes for them to explain why. Here's Snow Summit right there. They have to explain why people just, just do not come back here. And it's, it's because of all the stresses of uh, the traffic and having to spend a ton of money on lodging when we have this type of weather and spending a ton of money on clothing. Um, yeah, it, it just becomes not the most fun thing for a lot of people. And so I want to make sure that you guys do have fun. And any little bit that I can help you guys out at all would be amazing. This is the Brownie parking lot. That's a satellite parking lot for Snow Summit. I tell you guys about that all the time. Completely cool right now. I just don't see how you can have much fun with the town being this packed. Like, it's probably like the longest lines at freaking Disneyland. Just just to get on one one lift so I hope you guys are creative and find ways to have a good time while you're up here because I want you guys to come back we depend on you guys so anyway I love you guys sorry it wasn't the most amazing drive ever but uh, you guys got to see probably what you get to see all the time which is traffic <laughs> so I love you guys a lot thanks for the support you guys take care of yourselves all right